Hello, good evening to everybody. Can you hear me? Welcome to the video conference. Good evening. Good evening. The microphone is off, teacher. Okay, sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry. Okay, I was telling you that we're going to start uh, right now with a new conference. Um, we're going to be checking the exercises that I left yesterday. Um, I don't know if you did the homework. Do you do the homework? I didn't, teacher, sorry. You didn't, okay. So we're going to check it. Uh, just give me some seconds. I will uh, share my screen right now. Give me, give me a moment, okay? And I will be explaining you some things uh, here about the platform. Okay. Screen right now. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. I can see. Okay, okay you're right here. So, um, always in the in the section number one, <laughs> the topic that was my friend, our words. Um, in this part. Here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, um, in this part, um, it's that. Teacher, there is a problem with your microphone. It's not okay. It's not okay. Okay, just uh, give me a second. I'll go for my headset.
about now? Much better. Much better. Okay. Okay, um, <clears throat> this is a um, activity that I suppose that we have to complete for uh, tonight class. Uh, and it, it was about the sentences, the sentences that I said you have to construct using the adjectives uh, about personality. Um, the ones who did, okay, you can share, um, you can share the sentences in, in the WhatsApp group because I will be checking in giving you a uh, feedback about it, okay? And um, the ones who haven't uh, done the activity yet, so please uh, try to do it uh, as soon as uh, as possible because uh, I need you to be using this kind of um, vocabulary because it's going to be helpful for your learning and, and also the other activities that we're going to be uh, working on. Okay, so uh, then here we have a um, analysis check. This is about personalities. And it says, based on the audio program section 1.1 about personalities of Andrea, James, and Mr. Johnson, select the best statements that describe each uh, one of them. That these, are, uh, these are the statements that uh, we can find in the video. Okay, uh, I think you also complete this activity yesterday because you were giving me the, uh, the sentences, okay? So I think you can complete it now. And uh, the other part here is uh, the writing about the best friend. We have an activity that is for discussion and it says, in the discussion forum below, we write about a best friend. And um, for example, here we have uh, my best friend is someone who is sensitive about my feelings. She is a person who is very supportive and always listen to my problems, etc., etc., etc. So um, what we are going to do is to extend this information and not only leave it in just two sentences. What I want you to do um, is to write a, a, a paragraph using um, the words that we already discussed yesterday. Uh, and you are going to do what it says in the instruction, write about a best friend, okay? So I think everybody has a best friend and, and, and if you have it, so you can describe it how he or she is. Um, I, I'm seeing here that some of you have shared um, some lines about uh, your best friends, but I want you to extend that information, not only leave it as I said before, not only leave it just in two sentences. Uh, what I want you to do is write a complete paragraph. What I mean with a complete paragraph? Okay, um, the minimum for um, creating a paragraph is at least five lines. Uh, that means when we use the button, añade una publicación, uh, we have to add at least five lines in order to complete a paragraph. That's what is called a paragraph. Five, line of, five lines of information uh, about what is asked here to do, okay? So the ones who did it before, you what you have to do is just to edit that information and add uh, something else. Okay, is it clear what I'm saying? Hello? Yes, clear teacher. Yes, teacher, I do it. Okay, very good. So. Uh, you can start right now because this is going to be an activity that we're going to be developing in this video conference. Uh, at the end, uh, we're going to read that information. Uh, one of you is going to read, one, well, I will select at least three or four uh, texts that you are going to share. And uh, let's see how do you, stru how do you structure it 
that um, information. Okay, you think uh, 10 minutes is okay? Hello? Hello, teacher. <laughs> you think 10 minutes is okay? Mm, yes, teacher. Yes, uh, okay. You, could, you can share the screen with the words? Oh, sure, I, I, will, I will do it. Just give me a second. This is the one that I'm referring to. Oh, here I have it. This one. Remember that yesterday we did an activity about uh, synonyms and antonyms. Uh, you can use syn the synonyms and antonyms that you uh, found yesterday, okay? Not just this one. You can use the other ones too. And it's not necessary. I have to say this because I don't know if you're going to do it that way. It's not necessary to add all the um, all the, the the words. What I need you to do is to just some of them, the ones that match uh, the idea that you want to write uh, in your text. Not, not all of them, just some of them, and the ones that you think are necessary uh, on your text. Is it clear? Uh, how how long how many how many long do you have the paragraph uh, well i was say uh, i was telling you that you can write a text a uh, uh, paragraph sorry a uh, paragraph that it, it has to contain around five lines as minimum if you want to add more it's okay but but i need five lines okay thank you okay very good so you're going to have 10 minutes, starting right now.
Okay, uh, can you hear me now? Hello, hello? Hello? Hello, teacher. Okay, hello. sorry. Sorry, the thing is I have some problems here with my, 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 my microphone, so I don't know what happened. Okay, uh, there is someone here, Nelsi, it says, teacher, help me. Do you need sentences or paragraphs? With the new words of the video, words, uh, okay. I was explaining that um, you have to create a paragraph. Uh, this is the activity that we are going to do right now. And you are going to post it here in this space. Uh, I was showing you, just give me a second. Okay, this, in, in the, um, in the exercise 1.8, it says 1.8. Okay, there you have a, an activity and it says, uh, in the discussions forum below, write about a best friend. Um, what we have to do is to create a paragraph and we have to that information using the uh, words that we have on the video. Uh, the paragraph has to be at least five lines. So is it clear what we're going to do? Hello? Hello, teacher, I'm I... in my book. <laughs> Sorry, uh, one, one by one, uh, Miss Castro. Tell me. I'm writing in my book. You're writing it in your book. No, you have to do it. You have to do it in the 1.8 because this is an activity that you oh. have to solve. You have to solve in a, on in English corporative, in a, in a platform of English corporative. Oh. So that's the reason what I was telling you this. Because you have to add, you have to click on añade una publicación and you have to start writing down there. Okay. 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 It's very clear. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Very good. I'm going to do this. I think it's much better.
18 finish. Did you finish with the activity? Chair, is no. it necessary to add the paragraph on the platform? Yes, it's necessary. Ah, okay. The part of the discussion, right? Yes, it's part of the discussion. Okay. I finished, teacher. You finished. Perfect. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. But I don't know. It has the five lines. Okay. What you can do is just uh, share it uh, in the platform and I'll be giving you a feedback later. Okay. No worries. Okay, um, for the ones who haven't, haven't finished, um, because of the time I need to go through the next topic, and uh, I need to give you the lesson objective. Um, for this lesson objective, it says that by the end of this class, participants will learn how to express likes and dislikes using clauses with it plus verbal clauses with when. Um, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to show you a video. I want to play a video. And uh, we're going to see the structure, the, how, how we are going to form um, these kind of uh, sentences, okay, in these clauses. Okay? So I will play it right now. Pay attention to it.
it doesn't listen. Okay, you can now listen the audio. Nope. No. Okay. <laughs> You told me at the beginning. So sorry, guys. I'm going to play it again. Percent. Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. Can you hear that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So pay attention to to what he explains about these type of clauses. Hello, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to express likes and dislikes. And you'll also learn how to express neutral things. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So let's say, for example, you want to express things that you like. Um, I'm going to use an analogy of a birthday. right? So a uh, quick example. I like it when my friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when my friends forget about my birthday. There, I just express the likes and dislikes, and I also want to be neutral about certain things. So, in order to do that, I'm going to use expressions such as, I don't mind it when my friends arrive late to a party. So, let's do the following. First, the first thing that we should learn, or that we should become familiar with, is some uh, vocabulary, okay? Uh, and so, let me do just that. Let me just present this quick vocabulary. If you notice, I've highlighted in yellow the positive. So for things that you like, you'll use expressions such as, I like it, I love it. When you're neutral about something, you'll use expressions such as, I don't mind it. And when you want to express things that you don't like, then in that case, you'll use expressions such as, I don't like it, I can't stand it, I hate it. So let me just quickly present the structure and how to formulate this kind of complex sentences. So when we say clauses with it and then we say clauses with when, well really what we're saying is that we want to express things that we like, that we don't like, or that we're neutral about at any given situation. So let me just present the structure here. What we want to do is we want to use clauses with it and then adverbial clauses with when. Uh, and we do this in order to express the things that we like, the things that we don't like, or the things that we might be neutral about. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, we ha I had a, a couple of examples for you. I'll just continue on with making more examples. So, so what kind of things do you like? Well, um, in order to formulate this sentence, to express that idea, we're going to have a subject. In this case, I'm just going to say I. The subject could be any other subject, by the way. Um, I use a verb such as like, so I say I like it, and that's my clause with it. And then uh, the next part, it continues with when. This is the situation, um, when. All right, so let me just make that quick sentence there. So I like it when someone gives me a compliment. This is something that I like. As you can see, we have the first part of the sentence is the subject plus the verb and it. I like it. And then the second part of that sentence is, when someone gives me a compliment. If we quickly look at our vocabulary here, I could say, this could be, now, the, the idea about this is that this could be something that is true for you, this could be something that is not true for you. So we want to express the things that you like, things that you don't like, things that you might be neutral about. So I could use this vocabulary here. So I could easily say, I like it, such as the example here. I like it when someone gives me a compliment. Um, or I could say, I love it. So I'll, I could change the verb. I could change something else there. I could say, I love it when someone gives me a compliment. Um, at the same time, I could also be neutral about it. I could say, I don't mind it. All right? OK. I don't mind it when someone gives me a compliment. Uh, and then again, you might be shy and you probably don't like it, right? So you might uh, have a negative point of view about that situation. And you might say, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it when someone gives me a compliment. 
and that's how you formulate this kind of uh, sentences. Um, again, you could be neutral about the whole situation. You could uh, you could um, uh, be positive about it, so you could like it, or you could love it, um, and um, at the same time, something could make you upset, right? Um, the examples that I gave earlier where I so let me follow the structure here, right? So I'm going to say I like it when friends give me gifts for my birthday. Okay? So this is something that I like. So I like it when friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when friends forget about my birthday. Um, it doesn't bother me when friends arrive late to a party. Now what I would like for you to do is to think about all the things that you like and all the things that you don't like and all the things that you're neutral about. familiar with is some part okay um what well, here we have a whole within four clauses using um the adverbials um, and also the clauses with it well, how we are going to join those type of oh, sentences sorry to create one clause um here we have or the purpose of these uh, sentences is to express when something likes, when something uh, doesn't like, or uh, when we are neutral about it. That's going to that's going to be the purpose. Um, now, what we are going to do in order to practice these sentences, um, as you know, here we have sentences like "I like I like it when." A, some, someone gives me a compliment. So th this is just an example of it, a, but you can have a different idea about what you like, okay? I like it when a, someone a, play a football or a soccer, whatever. So it could be American football or soccer um, with me. So something like that. Um, in when we want, when we are going to express someone else's idea, we can change the, the, in this case, the pronoun that we're going to use. Instead of saying, I like it, uh, what, what I do is like, for instance, you tell me something and I can reply that, uh, what you said and, and, and use the, the, the pronoun. He likes, or he likes kids when uh, he study uh, on the library. Okay, that, that's an, uh, an idea about how we can join uh, these two sentences, uh, these two different clauses. Well, in your case, uh, what you are going to do in order to practice is to create, or oh, not create, because it's going to be a conversation. Um, you are going to share with your partner what you like, what you are neutral about it, and also what uh, you don't like. Three things. Then, when you come back to the general video conference, I'm going to be asking um, uh, to some of you, uh, what are the things that your partner likes, your partner uh, doesn't like, and what your partner is neutral about it. Okay, that, those are the things, the three things that I'm going to ask you after you come back to the general uh, room. So your um, your objective for this um, activity is to find those three uh, different things: what he likes, what uh, he doesn't like and what is neutral about it. Remember that you have here uh, some expressions. Here we have it, some expressions. Like for instance, uh, I like it, I love it, I don't mind it. That this, That's the one that we use for neutral. And things like, uh, I don't like it, I can't stand it. 
and I hate it. So we can use whatever uh, expressions we want, but also we have to add when in the complement of that sentence. I don't know if this is clear what, I'm, what we are going to do in the uh, breakout rooms. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, but I need you to be uh, talking in English because the idea is you can practice your English. So, because yesterday I was checking some uh, rooms where you were speaking in Spanish. And the idea here is not speaking in Spanish, it's sharing what you know and also practicing your English vocabulary and your English speaking. Okay? So, please try to do it in that way. Hello. Hello. Oh, teacher. Okay, hello. Uh, you are going to work with Nelsi Santos. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hi, Nelsi. Hi, Boris. Um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How, okay. how, how do you do? Uh, if you want to uh, start it with the, the task, uh I write here in my notebook uh, some sentences if I want to hear it. Okay, As okay. I'm, I'm ready. My, my first sentence, I like it when my mom cooks. The, the sentence I like. Uh, uh, now the sentence neutral neutral sentence i don't mind it when i work since at home and please, please. some I saw I a neutral hearing. sentence uh -huh, okay i don't mind it when i work since at home that I is a, a neutral sentence I don't mind when I work in my home. Yes, I don't when, mind it. I don't mind it when I when I work, work since at home. Since at home, okay. Yes. And you, you. My last sentence. I, I don't like or dislike. Okay. Okay. I don't like it when the day is warm warm why yes. when it's hot or hot okay. yes okay and uh, you teacher, love it uh, uh, sorry nelsi uh, i okay. i ask uh, something a teacher with that okay. word teacher, uh, teacher. Tell me, tell me, sir. It's correct when I say the day is warm or the day is hot. It's better if you say uh, the day is hot because you're expressing what you feel in, in the environment. Okay, okay. Thank you. Continue, Nelsie. Sorry. Okay. I don't like when it's hot. When yes. in the day, when the day is hot. Yes. Okay, and you love when you cook with your mom, really? Yes, when my mom uh, cooks. Uh, well, I, I love when your mom. When your mom, mom cooks, okay. Okay. 
Okay, and do you want I share my sentence? Please. Um, okay. Um, I love it when I wear my favorite clothes. <laughs> okay. Um, the neutral sentence. Uh, I don't mind when and when I um what, what what is the word? I don't mind the weather of the of the day. Uh, it, it could be hot. It could be uh, sunny. It could be rainy. I don't mind. Okay. Okay. So what is the word? And I I don't like when <laughs> on Friday I don't eat pupusa. <laughs> don't eat. You don't, don't eat. like. You don't. Uh, you don't like. I like it, but I don't like when the on when on Friday don't uh, I I can't eat pupusas. <laughs> Okay, uh, Miss Castro, um, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Okay, uh, I just want to ask you because I'm checking here that you are alone. Um, do you were working with someone or you? I don't know. <laughs> I'm waiting for my partner. Are you waiting for your partner? <laughs> okay, uh, I think uh, you are the only one here alone. And I don't know why, because it's supposed that you have a partner, but I think he or she disconnect from the video okay. conference. Okay. <laughs> so later you're, you're, you're going to have the opportunity to share what you like, what you don't like, what are you neutral about it, okay? And I, I will be asking you in the um, uh, general uh, room, okay? Okay. So I will see you there. Okay. At the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> you are looking for it. Yes, yeah. I'm, I um no, I I no, I'm not at the beginning. I'm gonna start my class at eight uh ten past eight PM because I was finished something. But okay. yes, I at the beginning. When I start to to the the conference, yes. we uh, we are we we did a, a exercise. We have we had to write in the platform about a a uh, uh, a best friend. You have to make a um, paragraph about describing your best friend using your using the words that about the video. Uh, for okay. example, the words um, support.
Okay, I think everybody is back. I, everybody is back. Uh, what we're going to do right now is to share what you found about your partner. Uh, let's start with Miss uh, Miss Santos. Okay, teacher. Okay, uh, Miss Santos, tell me what Boris liked. Um, this and. Um, my my partner was a Boris Rodriguez, and we and he shared my and the sentence. He loves oh he loves when her when his mom cook. Okay. And the neutral sentence. Uh, he doesn't mind when he works at home. Okay. When he works at home. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. And the third sentence, he doesn't like when it's uh, take hot. When it is hot. Okay, great. Yes. Mr. Yeah. Uh, Rodriguez, what about you? Okay. What does uh, uh, Nancy, Nancy likes? Santos? Yes, uh, she likes she likes uh, when wearing she she is wearing her favorite clothes. Okay. And the neutral sentence: uh, she doesn't mind when the day uh, if if it is. Sunny, raining, windy, etc. Oh, he doesn't like he those. Does, <laughs> she okay. doesn't mind that. Okay. Uh, yes. The the weather. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, she dislikes. She dislikes or she doesn't like it when her home is not clean. Oh, okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you, sir. Uh, now, Miss Castro, tell us what are your likes and what are your uh, what are something that you don't like. Um, I like when my husband buy buy me pupusas. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> what? Yeah. Why you, why you don't like that? <laughs> I don't mind when 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 I can sleep. Okay. And I hate I hate it when my kids don't don't like take a shower <laughs> okay when your kids don't like take a shower okay okay so then we have a in this case all the activities that we have to work this night and uh what we're going to do i will share my screen because i need to show you something uh let me see which one? Um, okay, this one. Here we have. Um, you know, you know, um, we have a, in this part in this a, a section one the last video, and the video is about reading. Uh, what you have to do. Uh, for this weekend um, is to complete to complete sorry um, the knowledge check 1.11 you are going to complete that activity uh, there you have the instructions instruction says uh, how do you feel about this situation make sure you use the correct spelling and punctuation you may use I love it when uh, and then we have some other examples uh, there take care of the punctuation and spelling of the um of the word here here you have um 
here you have uh, an information that you have to take into account with these sentences, okay? There you have, I love it, I can stand it, it makes me happy, and it uh, bothers me, I don't like it, it embarrasses me, it doesn't bother me. So that there you have some other options about uh, how you're going to respond uh, these uh, sentences or how, how you're going to complete the sentences based on the vocabulary that is shared here. Okay, after it, you are going to watch the video. This is gonna be a, a, a reading part. And, and then uh, you have to complete the last activity. And this part is the knowledge check. Uh, here we have la, la, a multiple choice, a multiple choice uh, activity. Okay, here we have the question and the second question, the third one. Uh, and you have to choose one of the options that uh, you're going to find in this exercise. Where uh, or um, these questions are, rel are related about what? Uh, well, in order to answer these questions, we have to check the reading part that we have in the video, in the previous video. That's meaning the 1.12. Okay, 1.12, we have a, a reading part. And after the reading part, we're going to be solving the 1.13, the knowledge check. Okay, that's going to be our activity. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, so that's mean that we have to complete section one and the uh, next week we are going to be starting with section number two. See you uh, later, guys. Blessing for all of okay. you. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Good night, everybody. Thank you.